Text 2 Media presents How to Create Videos from Dita Presented by Wouter Magdenberg Let's start on the dashboard again. Um, one production, as you can see, there are 15 video titles in the system in 15 languages. So there is actually one topic translated in the system available in 15 languages. We are going to do the same now with the second production, a second topic. Um, and let's go. So I show you a new topic here. Um, hey, you, you see all kinds of data files uh, in various languages. They are exported from a, a CCMS. Uh, let me just uh, take one and uh, put it in the system. So this new production will uh, start to exist. I take the English one. It's now uploaded to the system and I can show that to you here. So you see a huh, new production. It counts one video title, one first version. And if I uh, show you the content of it, you will see that there is actually one title in that production. Eh? Production is more or less a group of potential titles. Um, so let's go and uh, let's show you what happens. So I jump from productions now to the titles. And indeed, you see there is one new title here in US English, the first version, etc. And it contains already media assets, pictures. And also you see that there are already video fragments associated. You can see that here. Let's, uh, let's click it um, and just uh, show you briefly. Here you see all these typical images that are also leveraged in the PDF publications, but also you already see some uh, video fragments. The reason that they are already connected is because of metadata and these were already available. But for the ones that are not yet available, you can download a call sheet and you can create based on that call sheet, the script, you can create the additional missing video fragments. Well, for demo purposes, we already did that. Here they are. So let's, uh, let's um, uh, select them. And I actually also drag and drop them into the system. So these are new video uh, fragments, clean fragments, no audio, no language to it. I upload them. Well, you see the upload bar in the left button corner. A few seconds to take all these uh, video files into the system, into the cloud. Um, well, they arrived. Um, well, you can also see that. And what you now see at Media Assets, if you take a look, is that the amount of images go down and the amount of video fragments go up. So you see that the system is now replacing the still images actually for those video fragments uh, to probably zero images and 22 video fragments. Well, and if you now open up the Media Assets, you do not see those pictures anymore, right? You now only see the video fragments, all clean and associated with all these different, well, steps in this procedure. I say, well, let's render the video. And you now see that it is preparing for rendering. That's the status. It's now queued to be uh, processed. It's creating the preview. Uh, it's probably going to make the voices and the fragments. Uh, first of all, for, uh, of course, all the, all the frames, the voice. And then actually it will also start creating the actual live action video. So creating all the fragments now. And at the end, it will uh, stitch it all together as a video file in uh, well, what you need. And then it's published so you can download it or we export it directly to your YouTube channel or learning management system. But here you have that. So all the styling is immediately applied to it. Uh, the intros, the fonts, the colors. Well, um, that's of course all in place in the templates. So that's why it goes this fast. So now we have that initial video based on the topic. That was it. It took three minutes to show it to you. What we can also do since the video fragments are in the system, everything is associated. But as you saw, we only uploaded that US English one. So let's deselect that one now because we already have it. It, will, uh, it won't do anything now. But those 14 additional ones are now uploaded. Just purely the data, but with all the same references. And if you now go to the production, you see it contains 15 titles. Now, I can also, with one click, make sure that all these get created now in all these languages. And of course, it's different audio, it's different timings, etc., etc. But that's, of course, the power of the video creation cloud. So we select everything but the English one. And I say, well, create the live action video, confirm, and you now actually see that everything is going to be prepared for rendering and goes into the queue, etc., etc. And that delivers you, at the end of the day, the 15 uh, languages in that uh, in that additional production. Text2 Media, the video automation company.